Hi, my name's John Dick, and I'm here to explain to you how unarmed combat works in SCUM. Without further ado, let's get started. The unarmed combat and brawling has four different skill levels of expertise that the players can reach, starting from no skill level up to advanced skill level. However, the character's skill is just one of many things that are taken into consideration when combat begins. The other important factors are the player's ability to control his character during the combat and the physical condition of his character. Now that you know the basics, let's take a look at how the combat system works in other modern survival games. For this, we created a simulation of the type of unarmed combat that you can find in practically every survival game available on Steam. From what you can see here, the character is constrained at the hip but you can tilt their upper body and throw random punches toward your opponent. The camera is locked behind the character. It doesn't provide the player with a good overview of the situation, and most of the time it's really hard to tell where the punch will land. Obviously, this is a very basic implementation, and we could have done it the same in Scum, but we wanted to make something different. So, what exactly did we do in Scum to make things better? First, we wanted to find out the best way to fit martial arts in Scum's gameplay mechanics, and we quickly realized that the angle of the camera has to be changed. The free camera view not only provides players with a better overview of the situation, it also helps when you have to engage multiple opponents at the same time. The game also provides a first-person perspective camera for the combat mode, and everything works well there, too. Once you enter combat, you'll be able to perform different moves and attacks. For example, you could try to circle around your opponent and control the fight from a distance. During the combat, you can defend yourself or attack. From defensive moves, you can use block or dodge. And from the attacks, you can choose kicks, punches, and combo moves. A dodge is used when you want to outmaneuver your opponent and then strike back in a counterattack with a different combination of punches and kicks. With the left mouse button, you can perform punches. With the right mouse button, you can do kicks. Combos are performed by pressing a combination of keys, followed by left or right mouse button, depending on whether you want a punching or kicking combo. The skill level of your character will define types of moves your character will use during the combat. So, for example, he might do a simple jab or a cross. Or, if he's more skillful, then he can step in, close the distance, and use a more powerful punch. Combos are special attack combinations that inflict more damage than a normal punch or kick, but they also drain stamina at a faster rate. The best way to use a combo is against a dodge or a block, and if you perform the combo successfully, you'll increase the chance for a knockout. Along with the skill level, the character's attributes will also influence the outcome of the fight. Strength, constitution, and dexterity are attributes that the player chooses during the character creation process. But, once the game starts, these parameters will gradually change depending on the character's diet, metabolism level, actions players take, and overall health status of the character. That will, of course, be reflected on the character's speed, endurance, and strength during the battle. With proper diet and workout, it's possible to boost all these attributes to their maximum values. The only exception is the intelligence attribute, which will stay the same or drop down if, for example, a character gets shot in the head. In the current presentation, you can see different skill levels and how they will be represented in the game. Our plan is to make different sets of animations for each skill level to allow players to visually recognize the skill levels of their foes. This is still a work in progress, and it will not be included in the early access version of the game. Everything that your character carries in the game will have an impact on how you will perform in the combat. Heavy gear will make your moves slow and sluggish, and it will drain your stamina more quickly. It's recommended that you drop excessive weight before you enter a fight. The combat skill can be effectively used against other players, NPCs, and it can be used against animals too. Although we do not recommend you attack bigger and more dangerous animals unless, of course, you're sure that you can beat them or outrun them. In short, these were the basics about Scum Unarmed Combat Skill, and everything you saw is still a work in progress. We aim for further optimization of the combat process to make it more fluid and enjoyable. Future plans are to replace mocaps with more realistic animations. 
to make hit reactions for blocks and because our system is modular once everything is set up we plan to include other martial arts as additional combat skills that players will be able to choose. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you want to find out more about SCUM be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter or our dev blog on scumgame.com.